Hi guys, Sean Lanyi over here at 18 Shots in Vancouver, Washington. If I'm trying to understand knowing my numbers, I have to understand speeds, spins, and carry distances. So if I'm a LPGA player or a slightly slower club speed, I may reference that. If I'm a PGA Tour player or a fast player from a swing speed perspective, I'm going to reference the PGA Tour players. This is a really good guide that we have. So if I walk out there to the golf course and I have a 145 yard shot, but I have to carry the ball 138 yards, that's pushing a pitching wedge. So I need to actually put myself in a position to grab my nine iron in a 138 carry 145 flag. So now that basically ensures I'm going to eliminate hitting it short. So now I can walk into that shot and I can confidently set the club and I could take a look to my target, 138 is my carry distance. And if I can pull that off, it all is because my process was well thought out. I assessed the situation, the wind, the yardage, the lie all the outside noise, and ultimately that led to me understanding where can I make my mistake. I certainly can't make it short. I can't try to muscle a pitching wedge. Let's take a 9-iron and smooth a 9-iron. I only have to hit it 138. 145 is the flag. It ended up 16 feet from the flag on the right-hand side. So hopefully this helps you with your understanding of choosing and selecting the right club, but more importantly, you need to know your numbers.